Hi and welcome to episode one of our behind the scenes video series for our new feature movie, Repeat. My name's Richard Miller and I'm co-director and writer of the sci-fi feature, Repeat. So I've been working on short films and features for the last decade and now we're fully focused on making this feature. My name is Grant Archer and I'm co-director and cinematographer on this movie. My background is actually in stills photography but I've made the transition into video working on a number of small projects with Rich over the last five or so years. In each episode we're going to focus in on a single component part of the, of the movie. We've actually worked out that around about 55% of the shots for this movie should be filmed in one location and what could be more convenient than filming it in one of our houses. So the room we're in today is actually the beginnings of our primary set for the movie. Until just a couple of weeks ago, this room was set up as my underutilised home gym. Since then, we've taken all the equipment out and started building our main set for the film. It's fair to say that in movies, production design is one of the most important elements, but it's also one of the most underappreciated. As part of this set, we've introduced a number of layers. This gives us more shot choice and much more depth to the room. The majority of props on set were purchased secondhand from Facebook Marketplace, charity shops and car boot sales. In fact, only the racking and the workbench were purchased new from Amazon. The blackboards were created by using some MDF that was left over and some spare blackboard paint that we had from another project. Before we start shooting, we're going to have to install some more power sockets in this room. At the moment, there's none at all. We're daisy chaining all of our props and film equipment via extension leads out of the door and into the hallway where there's one socket. We're going to cover lighting in detail in another episode, but from an art design perspective, we wanted to introduce as much practical lighting around the set as possible. Above this workbench, we really wanted to use this LED tube. And the reason for using this tube in particular is that you can change the intensity up and down from an app and also change the light up to 16 million colours. But to make it fit in with the set, it needed to hang here and look like it was supposed to be here. So to do that, we created a hood for it. We first tried to use this piece of stainless steel by bending it into shape and cutting it, but after two hours of work, this is as far as we got. So as plan B, we found down the side of a shed, this piece of guttering, which we sprayed from white to silver, scratched it up, hung from the ceiling from these clotheslines, and then attached the bulb underneath. Now this bulb is absolutely fantastic, we really recommend it because of all the applications you can use it for. So we'll put a link to the bulb under this video so you can look it up yourselves. Thanks for joining us on our first behind the scenes video. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. We're really trying to reach as many people and share this creative process with you. Join us next time where we're going to focus on equipment, specifically the camera gear used for the shoot. Comment down below by the way if you think you can guess what our chosen camera might be. And until next time, Bye. <laughs>